Hello everyone, this is Harshita Bhargav from Chitkara School of Hospitality and in this session we are going to learn about cooperation strategies of expansion. So cooperation strategies are basically concerned with the choice of businesses, products or markets in which a business wants to remain or to survive. Cooperation strategies ensure that the right fit is achieved between the firm and its different components of the business environment. Cooperation strategies helps in building the relevant competitive advantages for the firm. By cooperating with other business units present in the business environment, a business ensures its growth and development or in other words, we can say that expansion through cooperation leads to growth and development of the business. Two broad types of corporate or cooperation strategies are mergers and acquisitions and second joint ventures. So let's discuss them one by one. Mergers and acquisitions are the aspects of that corporate or cooperation strategies in which different or more than two companies work together to grow and expand their business in some new field or new locations or of new origins without creating a subsidiary or using a joint venture. Merger basically means when two or more than two companies or business organizations combine their resources to create synergy benefits or they combine their resources to expand their business, to grow their business by focusing upon new fields, new location, new countries or new businesses. Whereas acquisitions on the other hand refers to that process in which one business acquires the other business unit. So accordingly one business would be acquired and the other would be acquiring. Reasons for mergers and acquisitions. Generally mergers and acquisitions are undertaken to increase the value of the organization stock as well as to enhance the capabilities and competencies along with stock or resources to increase the growth rate and to make good investment. That is also a reason for mergers and acquisition. To reduce competition by cooperating with other business units and to improve the stability of earnings and sales with the help of mergers and acquisitions is able to maintain its earnings its sales is able to maintain its competencies, capabilities as well as they are reducing the competition present in the business environment. Next broad category of cooperation strategy is joint venture strategies. So joint venture could be considered as an entity or a new company resulting from a long-term contractual agreement. It is a result of long-term legal contractual agreement between two or more parties to undertake mutually beneficial economic activities, to exercise joint control and contribute equity and share in profit or losses of the entity. In other words, Joint venture is the result of a legal agreement between two or more parties under which or under this agreement these merging parties or these two or more parties are agreeing that they will continue to do their ventures jointly. They will, they will share profits or losses, they will contribute to the equity, they will exercise joint control over this, this entity. Conditions for joint venture. One is when, is when an activity is uneconomical for an organization to do alone, then it would be better 
to venture out jointly with other organizations or other business unit which the business deems fit or uh, business thinks that it is appropriate to venture out with this business jointly when the risk of business has to be shared and therefore is reduced for the participating firms that could also be a condition for joint venture and third <clears throat> when the distinctive competence of two or more organization can be brought together then it would always be beneficial to work out in joint ventures now types of joint ventures now joint ventures can be taken place between two indian organization in one industry or between two indian organization across different industry it could also take place with foreign organizations in india and between an indian organization and a foreign organization in that foreign country joint venture could also take place between an indian organization and a foreign organization in a third country so all these the possibilities of doing ventures jointly now benefits in joint ventures or benefits of doing business jointly it leads to minimization of risk reducing an individual company's investment creates access to foreign technology and foreign resources also uh, moreover we can say that a company or a business can enter in foreign foreign countries with the help of joint ventures broad based equity participation and access to government and political support and entering new fields of business which creates synergistic advantages so these were some of the benefits of joint ventures so this was all about cooperation strategies expansion through cooperation strategies we have learned about mergers and acquisitions we have learned about joint ventures thanks for watching this session